let's go. I'm on a journey to discover the truth. Living life in recovery is lovely. You got the power in you. Surround yourself with positive energy. Judges hitting people with provocative penalties. Need to make a change. Advocate to change the laws. Prove the people that it's not insane. When you stand behind a cause, I'm here to speak about the pain. Recover loud to normalize the disease that's been killing all my friends and my family. The time is now to let it all go and recover loud. The benefit is healthy people, family and friends that never have to overdose ever again never have to plead out to a lesser offense i'm proud to say that i recover loud i never thought i could but i'm so proud that i discovered how to live my life again controlling my own destiny i needed recovery i still need it desperately addiction never defined my identity. i recover loud here to tell my own story i recover proud save a life of like 40 i recover loud yeah i recover loud i recover loud yeah I recover loud, I recover loud, here to tell my own story. I recover proud, save a life of like 40. I recover loud, yeah, I recover loud. I recover loud, yeah, I recover loud. I recover, 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 I recover loud. about harm reduction. Harm reduction is a path of recovery where abstinence may be the goal, but the main goal is to keep someone alive today for a chance at recovery tomorrow. Today we're going to be talking with my friend Sean Snyderat, who works at a local medical marijuana dispensary. Hi Sean, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having me. Yes, um, thanks for coming and sharing your experience with us. Of course, of course. Um, to start out, uh, you said you haven't used substances yourself, is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. I, I've never been directly, um, I guess you would say, in the midst of doing it. Um, it's always happened around me, uh, closest friends, family. Um, it's always been kind of in my life some way or another. Uh, somebody's affected by it. Addiction's always been around in my family as well. <clears throat> my mom, being an alcoholic, uh, you know, she, she worked through that and um, addiction kind of come in all forms, I feel like, you know, and I, uh, being around it, I've seen a lot of different perspectives. Yeah. For sure. So, um, what was it like for you growing up? Did, are you from the county originally? No, I'm actually not. Um, I moved up here about my junior year in, uh, high school, so that'd be about, I want to say about 2010, 2011. Um, moved up here, my mom remarried, uh, moved up here, um, and... It was it was hard it was hard coming in. Um, I moved I moved around a lot when I was younger, um, so it was always hard to get like my footing. I guess you would say um, it was always you know I was I was the outsider. You know I was different. I talked different. I wasn't from around here, um, and that was like that anywhere I moved to. I've moved all over the place in Maine, um, Naples, Maine. I, lived, I came from South Portland. Grew up in South Portland. Um, lived in Portland for a while, kind of just bounced around a lot, yeah. a lot of different schools and everything like that, and dealing with trying trying to fit in, you know yeah. what I mean, that was always that was always a hard part. Yeah, um, and a lot of us struggle with that, yeah. um, you know, when we move from different places, you know, it's hard to fit in with a group mm -hmm. and have that core group of friends. Of course. Um, so the fact that you didn't get into the hard substances, yeah. um, you know, was was pretty good for you yeah um, um, but you do use medical marijuana yes I do yeah daily yeah 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 um, and what does that do for you um it's uh, well I suffered with a lot of uh, anxiety and uh, you know big crowds of spaces um, depression is usually a big one um, I dealt with a lot of the past it's just kind of always you know kind of creeps up on you um, I find that medical marijuana kind of keeps me 
you know, keeps my mind not completely off of it, but it helps me deal with the emotions that come with the thoughts. Yeah. Um, it makes it easier to kind of, I guess, reflect on what's going on around me. Mm -hmm. um, so it doesn't get you too bad and put you in those dark places. Yes, exactly. It almost like, it's like somebody reaching out a hand and kind of pulling you out. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, hey, you got this, man. You know what I mean? Like, don't worry. Like, it's all right. Um, helps my, you know, insomnia, which, you know, insomnia leads from depression and stuff like that. There can be a lot of factors that kind of intercourse into that, but, um, yeah, no, essentially I, I use it on a daily basis, you know, for my depression and anxiety and, you know, it helps me get on with my daily life, you know, there's lots to do, you know, gotta get it done, so. Yeah, um, and just because you didn't use hard substances, um, you know, you, you talked about, you know, moving around, having that, you know, feeling of, of uh, not fitting in, yes. um, but you've known people who have used. Yes, um, I actually uh, lost a friend to an overdose uh, a few years back, uh, his name is Brandon Brand, um, you know, he was, he was one of my best friends, um, you know, I, uh, you know, I woke up to him, unfortunately, uh, passed away in his bedroom in the apartment I was living at at the time. Um, did you know Brandon was using at the time? Um, I did know he was he was recovering. He was recovering. Um, he was going through a hard time. Um, he had a bad day at work. Um, something to do with something other, you know what I mean? Everyone has a bad day, but it was just kind of that, you know, little push that he needed. Yeah. And, uh, so you, you didn't realize he had used when he come home the night he, before. Yeah, when he well when he came home, I, I was under the assumption that he was drunk. Uh, he was acting intoxicated. Um, I told him to sleep it off, um, lay down. You know what I mean? All the other morning. Um, at the time, you know, after putting all the pieces together, after everything, um, you know, I realized that he wasn't drunk. It was something else. It's a different substance. Yeah. Um, of what I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, then I found him overdosed in uh, the next room, uh, 11 o'clock the next morning. That must that must have been hard. It, it was uh, it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with. Um, you know, me looking at my adult life and you know being 28. Um, that was one of those kind of life changing moments for me. Um, when I was like, hey, this. This is real, you know what I mean. This, you know, I, I heard about it. You know, friends passing away, but um, at the end of the day, you know what I mean. He's still, you know, on my brain. You know what I mean. This I mean, one affected you quite a bit. Yeah, he. Uh, you know, it's kind of an image you can't get out of your brain. You know, it's uh, kind of seared in my mind, and I'll probably see that for the rest of my life. But um, in hindsight, I guess you know it opened my eyes to something different, you know what I mean? Um, I wish Brandon was here today. He didn't deserve to lose his life. Uh, he was a great guy, and, yeah. you know, yeah. it's good. Um, you know, and there's, you know, harm reduction uh, organizations out there, and, and our main uh, mantra is that people who use drugs don't deserve to to die. That's right. You know, and, uh, you know, that was Jesse Harvey. Um, that said that originally and it, it just speaks to the fact that we're not bad people no you know um, choosing to use substances doesn't make us a bad person it just uh, we just have unhealthy choices to deal with the trauma of course you know? of course and I, I um, I've kind of been in that dark spot you know where you're almost like you know I could do something like that Right. It don't matter. You know what I mean? Nobody really cares about it. You know what I mean? Like, no one's gonna really miss me if something happened, you know? You get those dark points, and it's almost like, you know, you can see, it, it, no one's a bad person. You know, drug addict's right. not a bad person by any means. Right. They just had a hard life, you know what I mean? And, yeah, and, and basically, you know, we just didn't have the right coping skill at the time. Exactly, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, Let's get back to uh, the medical marijuana. Yes. Um, so, as a um, bud tender, mm -hmm. um, you see people come in. Yeah. Um, can you tell me, you know, what do people come in for? What What are they using it for, and how is how is it helping them? Yeah. Um, well, I've had a, a range of people come into the shop. Um, 
and it's, you know, we have everybody from people who've dealt with, uh, you know, just minor pains to, you know, using like the creams, like the salves, we have creams to help uh, with like pains and aches and pains, and we have, you know, full spectrum to, you know, uh, prior drug addict, you know, and this is his way for coping. Mm -hmm. Helps with the dope sickness, helps relax you, um, and it's really, it's, uh, I've seen it kind of change people in a way, even alcoholics. I've seen it with people going through chemotherapy. Yeah. It helps with all spectrums of everything. Um, insomnia, you have people that cannot go to sleep at night because of trauma. Mm -hmm. um, you have people that, you know, they can't function without it, you know, yeah. they're, they're a mess. So yeah. it's, it's something that I've seen change people's lives for the best, you know. Yeah. It's, it's amazing what, you know, this natural plant can do. Yeah. for people without the harmful effects of prescription drugs or yeah. something like that. You know, it's not going to cure you overnight, but it definitely helps the process for sure. Yeah, and you know, years ago, I remember when I was still using, um, I remember seeing that there were studies coming out um, with medical marijuana to help people with addiction. Yes. Um, and I don't have that information now, but I do, if you're interested, I, I do suggest that you look that up. Um, because there is some important research that's been done. Yep. Um, you know, proof is out there. It, it is out there, and uh, you know, a great story is uh, the Rick Simpson oil. Um, it's RSO for short. We abbreviate it. Mm -hmm. um, it's I, I've seen it firsthand help with uh, patients, you know, having cancer, um, and them going into full remission. You know what I mean because of it. Um, I've seen people lowest of the low, you know, bring them, you know, back right, right up where they need to be, you know, get their mind right, you know. Yeah, yeah and of course, you know, it's a, it's a lot easier for people to, you know, get through their daily um, duties. Yes. You know, if they can calm their anxiety. Of course. If they can, you know, lessen the pain. Of course. Um, and a lot of people choose marijuana over those pharmaceuticals. Right. Um, for many reasons. And, you know, addiction... Um, being one of them yeah. um, so you know we see it I see it all the time uh, there's many people in recovery that are using marijuana today mm -hmm. um, to keep them from using the pharmaceuticals right um, and you know so far we don't know of many people who have died um, if any yes. from using marijuana um, I, I don't think we I don't think we ever will see that day um, and w what the great thing is about you know uh, the dispensary I work for, uh, versus some remedies, especially, um, they, we all know our info, um, we all know our information on different strains or products that we sell, um, dosages wise, we've all kind of, you know, we dealt with a good number of people, um, so having that person, like instead of just buying it from your buddy on the street, you know, you go to, a, it's nice to have a dispensary they can go to and get the info that you need. Where it can be a positive thing. Yeah, you know? it's, you're not buying something blind from from somebody in a dark alley. Exactly, exactly, and it's it's a whole different aspect or atmosphere, I should say. Yeah. In uh, going into a dispensary because you have those people there for you, we're gonna you know lead you along the way, you know, and yeah, that's 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 what we need out here, you know. I think we just need to have people, you know, kind of help one another. Exactly, and you know, there's a lot of stigma. Um, around substance use, marijuana is, uh, you know, still looked at as a drug by a lot of people. Um, you know, I personally uh, don't see it as a drug. Um, you know, it is a natural substance. Um, it helps with many things. Um, and if it's, if somebody's using marijuana today um, to keep themselves from doing something that can kill them, um, I support it 100%. Me too. Me um, too. You know, and it's, uh, it's just, it's a good alternative. It is a good alternative. Yeah. It, it definitely, it, it gives you something um, that can kind of almost, what I usually say is like, you know, sometimes your brain is all scattered and, you know, you have thought about this, thought about this, thought about that. And it almost like, it kind of brings everything into the line, you know what I mean? It kind of sorts it out for you. Yeah. Um, if that's the way you see it, like your mind, like a, almost like a filing cabinet. It's like, Know, smoking weed helps, or you know, edibles. Just consuming marijuana product and, uh, yeah. in general can it 
can just help help the whole whole process. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is really great. So Yeah, and, and to have something that somebody can use that's full spectrum, you know, head to toe. Um, there's benefits all around. The different strains are helping with different things. Of course. Um, you know, there are some other MAT options out there. Um, you know, just to uh, to discuss that for a second, um, MAT medically assisted treatment. Uh, there's Suboxone, there's Sublocade, there's Subutec, um, and, and medical marijuana is one of those medications. Um, and so when people come into, they're not just coming off the street. Uh, so uh, how are they getting medical cards? Um, well, there's a little bit of a process. It's a lot easier than it has been in the past. When uh, the main marijuana program first came out, it was a uh, it was quite a fee you had to pay. Uh, there was a, I think it was 120 to 125 dollar um, balance you had to pay, plus another 125 dollars once you got the card. Now it's 49, 50 dollars. Um, it's, it's really a great way for, you know what I mean, it's a lot easier to get, I should say. Yeah. Um, and where do people get these medical cards? Um, there's a bunch of different, um, there's some places down state, uh, down in Bangor area. Um, I know there's a place based out in Portland uh, called CheapMedCards.com. Um, they do a great job there, real quick and easy. Uh, it's usually about a 10 minute process. You can sometimes get in the same day. So if you wake up and you're just like, Hey, I want to get my med card today. You know, enough's enough. You know, like I want to, you know, I want to be able to help myself. So, and now today, uh, marijuana is legal for recreational use. Yes. Uh, do you still suggest that people get a medical marijuana card? Um, I do. I do. Um, usually, recreational prices. Um, not not knocking, you know, the product or anything like that. But you're going to be paying a lot more um, for your product at a rec shop. Um, the reason being is it's just how the recreational works. Um, there's more taxes on it. Uh, there's multiple taxes put on it. So it's just you're going to be paying more out of pocket for the same stuff. Yeah, and it's just... So there's no difference between medical grade and recreational grade marijuana? Um, I feel like medical is a little more... Um, what, what's the word I would think of? Uh, a little more... Focus. Closely watched, closely okay. watched, uh, a gotcha. little more supervised, I should say. Okay. So everything coming in is, you know, carefully, you know, looked at, looked thorough through, make sure it's a product that is going to help our patients, not make them sick. Um, I never recommend getting any kind of CBD products or anything over the counter at a gas station. Right. You just don't know what they're going to put in there. That's, that's also part of the stigma too, you know, you have those people that are like, oh, I can't, it freaks me out. You know, I can't smoke weed, it doesn't help me, it makes it worse. Mm -hmm. You know, you're probably, you know, maybe you shouldn't be smoking it. You know, there's different ways of doing it, so like that's why I always recommend going to a medical shop, because they're going to give you that direction as well, too. Yeah. So, Sean, we, we've talked a lot about uh, marijuana being used as a, a medically assisted treatment program. Yep. Um, is there anything you'd like to say uh, to somebody out there who's still in the throes of addiction? Um, who needs to find a path that's going to work for them uh, so that they can get away from the stuff that's killing them. Yes. Um, I guess what my best advice would be is uh, don't be alone in the process. Um, as hard as it is being around people, um, being with somebody that cares about you, it might be just that little oomph you need. Um, it's, hard, it's hard going through life in that dark path. But there's always light at the end of the tunnel. It's hard finding it sometimes. It's very hard. But you just gotta focus on the task at hand, one day at a time, one problem at a time. You can't take on all the slices of the pie at a time. You just take it piece by piece and talk to somebody. You know, hey man, I'm having a bad day. You know, somebody you can talk to, a family member, a friend, um, medical marijuana, there's so many dispensaries around now. Um, if you're curious about it, go and talk to your local bud tender. They can sure give you the advice and the info that you need to get better, to help you through this hard time, but things will get better. 
you got to stay positive and just keep pushing. Yeah, and, and I like what you said there. Um, you know, you don't have to do it alone. You can ask for help. Yeah. You know, there's plenty of people. Um, you know, there's other programs out there. Uh, methadone is also available as a medically assisted treatment. Um, you know, those programs are out there and available now. Yeah. Um, and I know uh, you in particular would agree that medical marijuana is not necessarily for everyone. Mm -hmm. Neither is methadone, neither is Suboxone. Yep. Um, not one answer will fit every every problem. It will not. And, you know, finding that answer and surrounding yourself with people to talk about the problem. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's a lot of info out there now. And especially on social media, I feel like there's a nice following. Um, you guys, you know, start a great following on Facebook. I see that every day. Yeah, um, it's really great uh, to see so many people in the community helping one another. Yeah, um, exactly. with, with, you know, everything going on, you know, it's every day something, you know, you hear about some sort of overdose or something like yeah. that. So it's just kind of gotten to the point where it's like, okay, I think everybody's getting it. You know, yeah, it's time to do something. It's time about to it. do something about it. We, we talk about it all the time, but it's time to do something about it. You know. Yeah, and you know, just to to summarize what you said, connection is the opposite of addiction. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's what we need. We need people around us. We need to uh, discuss our problems. We need to recover loud. We need to tell people, you know, that they're not alone in their struggles. Um, you know, no bad, no matter how bad it gets, there's other people who have suffered the same way. Um, you know, and if they found a way out of it uh, to share their experience and, and uh, you know, help the next person uh, is pretty valuable. Um, so thanks again, Sean, for coming. Uh, it's great to see you. Yeah, always uh, great to see you, man. You know, I, I appreciate the work you do and uh, having you come on to tell your story and, and share your experiences. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you for having me, man. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Today we talk with Sean Snyderat. He's a local bud tender at the medical marijuana dispensary. Medical marijuana may not be for everybody, but it is for somebody. Harm reduction is a way to keep people alive so they have a chance at recovery tomorrow. Thanks for watching the show. Have a good day, everybody. Anderson's Auto Repair, locally owned and operated in Sweden, Maine, specializes in all make, all model vehicle diagnosis and repair. Each individual service is backed by our nationwide TechNet, two year, 24,000 mile warranty. Call or stop in to schedule an appointment today. Anderson's Auto, for wherever the road takes you. Yo, stress relief, uh, okay, yeah. Been lost since day one, day one, haven't found sh mind broken, rebuilt it, then shattered for me just to pick it up again, again, again we roll, lighting up them backwoods all night, I got weed on sight, I will be alright, I will be alright, say it twice to convince myself that this roller coaster isn't forever just for the time being, if seeing is believing, I'm believing, I'm not seeing many human beings, just a bunch of aliens, UFOs, is what I see outside my front door Asking if I'm ready to go Cause I ain't from this planet Space bandit Got my own hand, call me Gambit This isn't my life, it's not how I planned it Left my town stranded Thought I should just can it Thought of some new bars I found some hidden scars I thought I'd show you If you care, we could play Truth or Dare Heard of the tortoise in the hair I ate them both, devoured the finish line You crossed the line as soon as you went mine Now it's my time Time to drop you like my next rhyme Drop a dime on that ooze smoking slime Dab to the hot glass Inhaling and choking on that white gas Don't worry the cough will pass But you will never last I will always last like I'm ever last Like the boxing ring I'm off the ding I'm off the double jab right hook Now you on the mat mother
you cook Here and finish him, Sean be killing him He ain't be stopped and can't be stopped And got the headphones in and he be rocking Not be hearing, won't be talking But hearts up, open lock it Soft in his front pocket for everyone to see You can even hear the strings Hearts and piano tripping Count now I'm mother tripping Cause from what I can see All you mother really ain't be living All I see is a bunch of Hated misdirected, people calling out people for absolutely nothing. It's really ridiculous, people acting promiscuous, people's viciousness and make you feel worthlessness, make you feel beaten. Time to go undefeated, rapping better than average, rapping addict. I'm a fabricated addict, so you can say I'm living lavish. Time to step out, I f had it, f had it. Time to grab that life by the balls and the throat. Tell these haters to f float to get off my boat. Didn't listen when I spoke, get the f my boat i came from the coast now i'm in the woods call it evolution your voice air pollution sean put it together so fluent who knew it sean about to ruin your influence with my music ain't about my losing i'm about my cruising and pursuing what i've already proven my movement is steady moving lost but still steady moving Today's episode is brought to you by Recovery on the Road, Elevate Audio and Visual, Rick's Redemption, Anderson's Auto Repair, and Recovery Aroostook. Welcome to Rick's Redemption, where we are family owned and operated. We strive in cleanliness, honesty, and customer appreciation. Rick's Redemption is a recovery-ready employer who believes wholeheartedly in redemption. Here at Rick's, we support Recovery Rustic and definitely are proud to recover loud. God bless. journey to discover the truth living life and recovery is lovely you got the power in you surround yourself with positive energy judges hitting people with provocative penalties need to make a change advocate to change the laws prove to people that it's not insane when you stand behind a cause i'm here to speak about the pain recover loud to normalize the disease that's been killing all my friends and my family the time is now to let it all go and recover loud the benefit is healthy people family and friends that never have to overdose ever again never have to plead out to a lesser offense i'm proud to say that i recover loud i never thought i could but i'm so proud that i discovered how to live my life again controlling my own destiny i needed recovery i still need it desperately addiction never defined my identity. i recover loud here to tell my own story i recover proud save a life of like 40 i recover loud yeah i recover loud i recover loud yeah i recover Recover thou, I recover thou, here to tell my own story. I recover proud, save a life of like 40. I recover thou, yeah, I recover thou. I recover thou, yeah, I recover thou. I recover, I recover loud. 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 I recover, I recover loud.